Thank you all so much for coming to the open house and ribbon cutting ceremony for the Central Library. And uh, we will begin with a prayer from none other than my pastor uh, of Second Mount Zion Baptist Church, Dr. Theodore Strait. Let us pray. The psalmist said, This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today, God, we come rejoicing, and certainly we are glad today. Some has also said that except the Lord build the house, the labor labors in vain. We are mindful today, God, that you are the builder of this house, and we come to thank you today for building this house through the efforts of your servants. We come now asking that you will open this place as you started it, and that all of the partners and all of those who have struggled and labored come together in, in a diverse way to make this day possible that we call blessings upon them right now. We are exceedingly happy and rejoice for today that you brought them together to give us this product for our community. While we pray today, God, we lift up this community. And we pray that this library will be a source of knowledge, resources for any and all who come. We ask now that you will place your blessings on this place today, and that whoever walks in might receive the anointing of knowledge and insight to go out in this perverse world and be a light that shines. We ask these blessings in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Welcome to our ribbon cutting ceremony and open house. Thank you all so much for coming. Twenty months ago we moved out of this building and we are so excited that the day has come that has finally come that we can open the doors of the Central Library. We know that our patrons are anxious, anxiously waiting to begin using this new facility, and we are happy, that the, that happy to finally be ready to open the doors and let them in. This newly renovated facility has served as a source of motivation for the entire library staff. It will continue to motivate us to become better public servants. We will strive harder to promote awareness to the community about what the library has to offer them. Again, I want to thank each and every one of you for coming. One other thing I would like to say is, when I became library director, this project was already underway. We had architect, Hank Bertershaw. We had a construction company, PDC Contractors. The floor plan was finalized and furniture was already selected. Many of these events took place under the leadership of the late Ashley Moore, our director at that time. This library is very much Ashley's vision for the Central Library realized. It has been an honor for me to assume leadership, a leadership role in bringing this project to a close. I say this not to distance myself from any criticism because we all think that this newly new Central Library is absolutely beautiful. I believe Ashley's work on this project should be acknowledged. We remember Ashley with the plaque uh, that we have on display today in memory of Ashley. Thank you all so much for coming. I thank uh, uh, all of our public officials for being here. Uh, I, I have my uh, Pines program director from Georgia Public Library Service. People came from far away. Uh, Daryl Elam, I saw him here. <laughs> I hate to start calling names because I'm probably going to miss some somebody. But I appreciate everybody for coming and it, it means so much to us to have so many of you come out to help us celebrate in this moment. Thank you so much. And <laughs> Now you're here from our library board chairman, Ms. Walsh Kelly. 
I'm only going to talk for about an hour, and <laughs> I, then I'll let y'all go. But I want to thank every one of y'all for being here. Just don't get to see all of y'all. I just, you know, I'm just overwhelmed, really. My friend Jeff Senior, I, I, I just can't um, really do it justice. But I do, I've got two little quotes for you, and I know people don't want to listen to this too long, but one of them is, libraries are the medicine chest of the soul. And that was found at a, uh, an old library in Greece at one time. And another one on a lighter note is, having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the cool thing is, Darty County, I know you won't believe this, but we have one of the highest readership rates and holders of cards in, in Georgia. So, I mean, we, I mean, that's pretty good. And I will say this to y'all. After today, very few people will remember anything that is said today more than likely. But many, uh, but by the impact that the opening of this building will have on this community will never be forgotten. This new place was conceived by many, nurtured by all of our officials, and completed through public funds. This place provides a safe place, a safe environment for learning, and acts as a beacon that summons all to come within her walls to learn, to explore, and to become a better person. This facility, my friends, is 40,000 square feet of well-engineered, well-planned space. It houses over 150,000 volumes. We have 51 brand new computers with literally lightning fast internet connections. It's home to eight full-time librarians and 35 employees. So if you can't find anything in this library, it is not our fault. <laughs> we, will, we will help you find it if you will ask. We are so blessed to have Pauline as our new director. She has done a wonderful job. We're also blessed to have our, our volunteer board of directors. And they are my friend Dr. Brenda Hodges-Tiller, Dr. Jim Hill, uh, Commissioner John Hayes is here, Ms. Karen Lieber. Mr. Harold Dabney, and Mr. John Curbo is our newest member. And our only agenda is to do good and to serve the needs of our community. I thank them all for their service, and I applaud them for their efforts. But I would be remiss if I did not mention Bob Kidd, our lead architect with Heck Bertishaw, or Tim Dodds, the project architect, or Alicia Wood, the interior designer. Without them, this just simply would not have turned out as beautifully as it did. But let us not uh, leave out Doug Young, who is our general contractor with PDC Construction, or Rick Coleman, who was the project foreman. All of these people, as the preacher said, all, all things come together you know, uh, in God's plan. And it, and it finally came together. And I just can't thank you all all enough from the bottom of my heart for, do it, for being here today, but also for supporting it and for sticking with us through the hard times. There are four floors. There are four floors of just great space. And uh, we've got really, really, really good things ahead. By the way, we have these nifty little cards uh, <laughs> that, uh, that you can take. They're at the front door and these little magnets as well. So when you check out your books, this is where you can mark your place. And um, we hope that you will enjoy this as much as we intend to. Thank you so much. <laughs> We have words from the from Jeff Senior, Chairman of the Doherty County Commission. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> we have two reverends. The owner's Reverend Kelly, so uh, I don't ever hide you now. I really appreciate what you and your board and previous boards have done to make this reality. And Pauline, God, <laughs> wow. you and your staff and your employees and all of the folks involved in this construction. All the commissioners that stuck through the good times, the bad times, and tried to make this a reality, just thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is such a huge reality. And I love this card. A library outranks any other one thing a community can do to benefit, benefit its people. Andrew Carnegie, he's a pretty smart fellow. Uh -huh. And uh, he had a lot of things figured out, certainly a lot more things than I have. And this is just another example of how the splice really works, of how it can make a difference in our community. It really, really does. And you're not going to vote for a splash unless folks are spending the money the right way. Libraries and roads and water and fire and police are the right ways. In this example today, 
you know, there was a long time ago they were driving cars off these floors. This was a, this was a car lot, so to speak, with a bunch of floors. But what's been done here is just magic. It's literally magic, and I'm so excited to be a part of this. It's just a blessing to know that this board, and they have been through a bunch of stuff in previous boards, and, and all of you that are leaders in this community, to be able to come here, 52 computers and 150,000 books, I mean, my gracious, it's just beyond comprehension. Thank everyone that had a part in this. Appreciate being here. If we have any members of our state delegation in the house, we yield the floor to you if you would ha like to have a word to say. Okay, if not, then um, I, want, I want to say one last thing. I want to commend uh, my library staff for the excellent job they have done. I am so proud of them. They worked tirelessly to uh, make this happen, to get us to this point. And uh, they are, I call, I call them the super staff. If, not, if you, everybody would give them a hand. Okay, with, without uh, delaying any further, we can go uh, to the outside of this front door and cut the ribbon, and then we can step back in and take our tours. And we also have refreshments in the staff lounge, so be sure and have refreshment, refreshments before you leave. Thank everybody so much. Okay.